praise the almighty God. Oh my goodness. Anyway, Jesus, um, the word of God is, is that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. What does that say to us? That Jesus has not changed. Well, the politicians may change. Uh, offices may change. All the laws may change, but Jesus has not changed. What does that mean? Therefore, we should be still following whatever the teachings are of Jesus Christ. Many uh, man-made religions have their own doctrine, uh, the, you know, the uh, religious systems and uh, organized religion. All They all have their doctrine, but Jesus' doctrine has not changed. You must follow. We must follow. I must follow. Jesus's command, commandments and or teachings, uh, 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 not of uh, different men and pe different people. I'm not interested in all that. All of that is contrary to God and people. Many have fallen away and have fallen off and are in error thinking that they are serving God, but you are not serving God. You are serving yourself and or the person uh, 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 that you have placed above God in your life. Okay. It's not God. Religious systems, organized religion, man-made religion, man-made teachings are not God. They cannot be God if they're man-made. If it's organized religion and religious systems, it cannot be God. Jesus is the same yesterday, today. That's Hebrews 13 and 8. Ye same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So the teachings of Christ Jesus have not changed. Okay, the ministry of Christ Jesus have has not changed. The commandment that he has given us to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, and strength, and our neighbors of neighbor as ourselves has not changed. It's very, very simple, very, very straightforward. You must be in a narrow way, beloved brethren. You must be in a very narrow way for wide is the road to destruction. When you start believing everything and start trusting in every other thing and, and doing every other thing, you're just wasting your time, your talent, your money, everything, your efforts, your energy, your resources, all are being wasted and you will be accountable. You are accountable for what you do. Okay. So stop the madness in your life. Simplify yourself. Get alone with God. Get some quiet time. Get, take a day off. Take, you know, don't answer your phone. Don't make any appointments. Leave people behind. Don't click on people's videos either. If they got a live stream, if they telling you to call into their phone line, however they trying to dupe you in so that you can be away from God, you know, so that you, they can be in your ear versus God. Do not consent them. <laughs> OK, do not consent them. Get alone. Don't people. What is wrong with people that they're afraid to be alone with God? You're not, you know, God is a quiet God. You know what I mean? All that chatter that you hear from people is, is just nonsense. And they're not even talking about nothing. They're not even talking about nothing. Talking about their marriages or their witchcraft or trying to tell you to get married. I mean, all kinds of nonsense. Jesus has not changed. Many things around in the world may have changed. They allow people to marry that should not be married. Okay. Those two, they should, they allow those to divorce that should not divorce. They allow this drug, that drug, this drink, that drink, but it's not so in God's kingdom. God is holy. Holy, he does not look upon sin, he cannot look upon sin, he hates sin, therefore, we should also hate sin, beloved brethren. Yes, are you going to be tempted? You may be tempted, you don't have to be tempted, but yes, you might be tempted to do something, which is not a sin to be tempted, it's but when you have the lust for it, and or when you actually take a uh, 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 do the action. Then it becomes a sin. T at the point of temptation, you can shrink yourself back. 
and con- to have self control and discipline your body. Put your put this flesh under uh, discipline it. But once you go out beyond that, then you have you have failed. But you can discipline yourself. You you're not an we're not animals, and I'm sorry if I even disrespect poor animals because they probably don't even behave as base as some people do. They, they just got to do everything. They glut. They're gluttonous. Uh, gl- gluttonous. They got to eat everything. They got to have sex with everybody and everything. You know, they got to spend money all the time. They got to buy this, got to buy that, got to change my house, got to change my clothes, got to do this, got to, all of these different, different things. That's nothing but the work, the works of the flesh. All that stuff is just flesh. It's all sin and it's flesh. It's wickedness is what it is. You know, you don't have to do all of that. You do not have to do all of that. You must discipline yourself. All of that stuff is a wasteful. It's just garbage. And nothing of none of it is, is holiness and none of it has anything to do with God. And any systems and in and, and, and places and if they're teaching this and, and if this is what you're living and how you're living, as you, and you call yourself a follower of Christ Jesus, you have deceived yourself. So again, let let's be clear and go and study. God uh, 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 Jesus, let me say Jesus is the same today, excuse me, yesterday, today, and forevermore. He has not changed. Anything that is contrary or different to what he has taught his and, and his ministry and his commandments is deception, is false, is man-made, and is in error. Correct yourself, beloved. Correct yourself before you wreck yourself while there's still time, while there is still time to negotiate for the grace right now. Because once we die, it's over. There's no negotiation, beloved. There's no negotiation. People who are teaching are teaching nonsense like that, like you can negotiate and there's a place for you to go when you die. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Heaven or hell. Which one you're going to be. And you can say you don't believe in either one or one or, or the other if you want to. But you, what your belief system is, is erroneous. False and deception, deceptive. It's wrong. You better know the real truth and stop playing. Listen to a woman yesterday. She, um, unfortunately, somebody had murdered her mother. And so once that happened, <clears throat> their lives kind of became destroyed. So well, they became destroyed by that, their, their lie, you know. So, but she was saying that she would never forgive the murderer, the person who murdered the, the parent. Then she said, I can't trust a God. I stopped him. I stopped going to church because I can't trust a God that would forgive him or make and want me to forgive him. How could he get into heaven? And, and I can't. <laughs> It's like, you know, just having all kind of mixed up things. You better follow God. Whatever God says is what he says. He let his let his word be the truth and every other word be a lie. Don't worry about how and why he says what he says. We better our own job is just to do the work to do it. Don't be trying to put it in your mind and trying to filter it to your mind and and try to figure it out. Don't worry about figuring it out. Just do it because you'll be crazy before and on somebody's fifth ward, uh, uh, on the fifth ward, uh, wherever they keep them now, if they keep them at all, if if uh, you're trying to figure out God, you just better do the work and be thankful for God. Okay? So we love you very much. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, beloved. Don't get it twisted. Don't find, uh, uh, don't. You don't go with the new, the new wine that they give, they trying to give you. You better stay with what's, what Jesus is talking about, period, point blank and period. And if you don't know what Jesus is talking about, you better get in those books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's where you need to start. Okay. Stay out for these little, all of these live streams and all of this nonsense people are talking about that has nothing to do with Jesus, nothing to do with God. This is their ministry. These are these own people's flesh ministries. They're rotting, stinking flesh ministries at that. Don't let that be your portion. It's time you have an opportunity to repent. 
to turn around and do the right thing, beloved brethren. To do the right thing. And it will be so refreshing to you. And it will bring you so much comfort and so much peace to be uh, in God. And, and, and away from all of that nonsense. Because that mess is mess. Why are you so desperate trying to do this, do that? Uh-uh, don't do all of this and that. God has not told you to do this and that. That's not what he wants you to do. Do what he wants you to do. You over here spinning your wheels like a hamster on a wheel. It ain't going nowhere. And these people getting fatter and fatter because you're giving them all your money. You're giving them all your time. You're giving them all your talent. You're giving them all your resources. You're giving them all your efforts and all your energy. They just sitting up there growing and growing and growing while they sinning and sinning and sinning and got you sinning and sinning and sinning also in error. Got you messed up and deceived and, and, and confused. Get your life back. Take it back today. In Jesus' name, take your life back today. Jesus is Hebrews 13 and 8. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Have a good day. Bye-bye for now.